Ernie Els was probably the one I really liked to watch as a kid growing up, and I remember actually having pictures of him stuck to my uh, cupboard doors in my bedroom. So I, st I still like watching him play. I mean, his golf swing's awesome, and he just has a really cool demeanor out there. I've got a bit of techno music on there actually, but I don't listen to a whole lot of it. I've got some classical if I just want to, you know, get both sides of the brain going but stay pretty chill. I'd say winning my first tournament on the LPJ was the highlight so far, the 2008 Canadian Open. He's like my brother actually. Um, <laughs> He knows me pretty well, I know him pretty well, and we're very, very open, probably too open about what we talk about. We had a massive, massive blowout in Alabama a couple of years ago, and I, I was like, why don't you just go home? <laughs> Actually, that happened twice, once in Korea as well. And I think he's probably just wants to strangle me sometimes, but yeah, like we'll walk 100 yards down the fairway and we'll both be over it and talking like nothing happened, so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he, I drive him nuts at times, but that's the way it goes. Playing a sport it, for your job, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, you, you dream about it as a kid and you look up to people that do it in, in multiple sports. And yeah, I think it's pretty special. Lugging your golf clubs in your suitcase through the airport and then having to pay the overweight baggage fee. But, I suppose the second one is meeting guys. Um, they're, they're sometimes intimidated because you're a professional athlete, but we're in a different place every week, so it's hard. Maybe three, and they haven't been in tournaments. I've been in like practice rounds or just goofing off there. So hopefully I'll win a car when I do make one on tour. That'd be nice. <laughs>